so passage 1 was not a very easy passage yes a lot of you may have felt this the language required a lot of interpretation so let's see what the passage talked about it talked about something called entropy right so the first paragraph defines what entropy is through various concepts okay it gives a number of definitions of entropy then the second paragraph talks about the etymology of the word where does the word come from why did the person who named it named it entropy it then relates this entropy to a poet w h auden that how when a war broke out in front of this poet he came to this realization about entropy so it was a post traumatic reckoning with the aftermath of the war he came to this realization that entropy or the undoing of being the taker away of life is what dominates all okay it dominates all human beings and no matter what a human being believes in right see 80 million lives had been uh, had gone unsaved in the war right so no no matter what a human being believes in what his or her ideals and idealisms are we must die anyway that is the realization that he had in the aftermath of the war so to reflect this realization he revised the line of his poem what did he write so initially he had written we must love one another or die that was the final line of the penultimate stanza of his poem we must love one another or die then he changed it to read we must love one another and die okay so this is what this passage is about it begins with the concept of entropy you don't really anticipate that it will be related to the life to the realizations of a poet but that's how the passage proceeds so let's see uh, how the questions are easy difficult question 4 which device does orden employ when he says composed like them of arrows and of dust beleaguered surrounded beleaguered surrounded by the same negation and despair okay uh, we'll have to see where it is mentioned first of all let's read the options he uses a metaphor okay while comparing himself to the stars all right he employs a simile while calling himself like the stars in the night sky okay he uses analogy to explain how he and the stars share similar conditions he uses paradox to emphasize his similarity with the stars let's see so we are talking about orden's poem right he looked at the stars and saw ironic points of light above a world defenseless under the night he looked at himself and saw a creature composed like them composed like the stars of arrows and of dust okay arrows is the god of love composed like them of love and of dust surrounded by the same negation and despair so this much is clear to me that the poet is comparing himself with the stars so it's a comparison okay composed like them there is this use of the word like also so it's not a metaphor it's not a metaphor for sure it's not a direct comparison right because we have used the word like so either a simile it's either a simile it's not a paradox either there is nothing you know logically contradictory or contradictory about comparing uh, the poet to the stars right the poet comparing himself to the stars there is nothing contradictory about it so paradox be nahi it's not even a paradox now between a simile and an analogy between a simile and an analogy let's see which one fits so if you see we don't just stop at using the word like we explain this similarity that why is it that i am comparing stars to myself so the author feels that both the stars and he himself are composed of arrows and dust and are beleaguered are sur surrounded by the same negation and despair so the comparison goes beyond just an as and like okay 
it's not just as cool cool as a cucumber it goes beyond that it even explains why this comparison is being made and it is to compare the conditions that the stars and the poet share so analogy is a better choice let's see our options again see this metaphor no uh, simile while calling himself like the stars in the night sky so uh, he is not really just comparing himself like the stars in the night sky he just says that just like them we are composed of arrows and dust so it's not like i myself am a star just like them we are also made up of the same stuff we share the same conditions we are also surrounded by negation and despair so how he and the stars share similar conditions definitely this is a better choice no paradox at all right so c is the answer here i think it was easy to narrow down to simile and analogy and after that it just became a matter of reading the latter part of the option this is this fits very closely with the line that is given in the poem and has to be the answer